Hey, Bulls and Bears, you're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It's Thursday, October 21st, 2021. Back for another dose of economic reality. California is leading the way on new jobless filings. There's a lot of things happening here in California that are pushing people out of the labor force. We're going to look at a chart on that here in a minute. Uh, but first, let me answer the question. A few people were asking, where do I think the economy is headed? I still think we're headed into an economic collapse. They could pull the plug on this any minute, and the biggest economic bubble we've ever seen would come crashing down or deflate, whatever you want to call it, and there would be a lot of pain. Now, going into this inflationary environment, there's going to be a lot of pain also. Uh, either way, we're at the point now where either way, inflation, deflation, crash, bubbles getting bigger, either way, there's going to be a lot of pain. It just depends on the type of pain that we're talking about and the, uh, the onset and how quickly this is going to smash down uh, against us. But let's talk about California's jobless numbers. We're going to talk about the national jobless numbers as well and a lot more. We're going to talk about uh, an industry that may not even exist if it were not for the money machine and all the bailouts. Okay, that'll get, uh, we'll get to that in just a few minutes. But first, take a look at this chart. Weekly change in initial jobless filings uh, by state at the very top, California, uh, followed by Tennessee, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Alaska, Illinois. Uh, some states actually are improving in weekly claims. We look at the bottom here, and what do we see? Uh, Virginia, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Ohio. And this surge in jobless filings here in California is the biggest surge in six months. Now let's look at it on a broader scale. Jobless claims fell again as enhanced pandemic benefits fade away. And this is out of CNBC. So what they're saying here is the extra unemployment benefits that were still handed out in about one half of the U.S. states are now ending, thus forcing people to go back to work, thus causing jobless filings or initial jobless filings to decline. Well, here's the problem. There's a lot of them, but here's one of the problems. We're still at 290,000. So we're still at 1 million plus per month, new jobless filings. And if you compare it to previous months, that's more than new jobs being added. So long-term unemployment is not budging. And in fact, let's take a look at shadow stats real quick here. And if you look at the blue line, that's the real unemployment number, still over 25%, right? They haven't been able to take care of long-term unemployed. So they're only going to show you the five something percent, the number that represents just the people that currently qualify for unemployment. And it gets to a point where so many people are going to be out of, out of the labor force, where there may not be many people left in the labor force to lose a job. So that's another reason why you could see initial job, jobless claims continue to drop. Right. And speaking of job losses, let's talk about the bailout of industries. Uh, let's take a look at American Airlines. Recent headline here, CNBC American Airlines posts profit thanks to federal aid. Revenue improves. Take a look at this. American Airlines reported today on Thursday, $169 million profit for the third quarter, thanks to more than $990 million in federal payroll support. So think about that. It took $990 million in federal support for a profit of $169 million. So their profit is roughly one-sixth of the amount of federal payroll support that they received. What does that tell you? That tells you that this airline and there's other airlines in the same boat, would not even exist if it were not for the money machine. Right? So think about that. If you think job losses are bad now, 25% plus unemployment, the real number, how much worse would it be if it were not for all the debt and all the rescue programs, and in this case, the federal payroll support? We would see, who knows, 50%, 60 75% unemployment. If it were not for the money machine, most people could be unemployed. That's the, what the numbers look like to me. The entire airline industry may not even exist if it were not for the money machine. Now think about all of the other industries that would not exist if it were not for bailouts and endless amounts of debt that could be thrown at these companies. 
Uh, think about the banking sector. Uh, the banking sector. After 2008, most banks technically should not have survived, but the money machine allows that to happen. It allows failure to continue, and it allows failure to continue to thrive. Right, and it's been called many things. Um, moral hazard is one of the things. If there's no repercussions for bad business, then you're going to get more bad behavior. If you're rewarded for failure, you're going to get more failure. The problem is the people running the companies that fail end up making a lot of money. So again, there's no incentive for these companies to do the right thing. Right, so all of the people working in banking for the airline industries, a lot of the cruise companies, cruise ship companies, I always saw farmers getting bailed out. I mean, how much worse would this be if it were not for all the debt that's being pushed out there, all the rescue programs? I always saw it everywhere in housing, all the extra unemployment benefits that were handed out. If it were not for the money machine, this would be a whole different world right now. And it may be so bad, so ugly that it would be Mad Max. So because of that, um, people say we have to just continue to go into endless amounts of debt to keep this failed system propped up. Uh, other people say we should just let it collapse, pick up the pieces, uh, start something new. Um, and I think we're approaching a point where we're going to have to come up with something new. Uh, there's a couple different directions. There's a couple different forks in the road uh, that we could go. We could go to uh, the reset, which the people running this at the top, you know, they want a certain type of reset. But what it's going to be more control for the ones at the top that created this entire mess, all right, the money masters. And they want complete control over all of your spending in a completely digital dollar and cashless. So we're at a, uh, a tipping point or a turning point here, uh, not just in the United States, but in the world, where we're headed into something very, very different. The question is, how will it unfold and how we, sh um, how we should continue to prepare. Uh, but as you can see with headlines like this, the jobless numbers, um, this entire system and, and most jobs that you see today wouldn't even exist if it were not for the money machine. And if the money machine would have never created this current situation, you would still have people working, but they would just be in different types of jobs. They would be more in jobs that actually produce things. Instead of just patting people down at the airport and, and serving people drinks on a plane, you would actually see production jobs, uh, manufacturing jobs, jobs that actually create something, uh, more skilled labor jobs would then be necessary. But when you have endless bailouts of failed industries and companies, um, you're going to see more of the same, more failure. All right, we're going to wrap this one up, everybody. Thanks for being here. Keep stacking, keep preparing because... Uh, things are about ready to get a lot uglier, and it's going to continue as we head into uh, the last few months of 2021. Uh, who knows what things are going to look like just uh, at the beginning of next year, 2022. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. Uh, please make sure that you are subscribed so we can follow this transition of this country and the world uh, together and uh, keep each other on top of things, keep each other focused, and uh, keep prepared. Hope to see you down in the comments on this one. Stay well, everybody. Stay safe. Keep stacking. Bye for now. Peace.